sa araw na ito ay pinagdiriwang natin ang World Day of the Sick, nakasabay din ng pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng Our Lady of Lourdes, o para sa mga Franses ay Our Lady of Lourdes, Silent S. A little bit of history about this great apparition. On December 8, 1854, Pope Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in his apostolic letter, Inifabilis Deus. And three years later, on February 11, 1858, a young lady appeared to Bernadette Subiru. And after a series of apparitions, the Blessed Virgin Mary, or this young lady, on March 25, identified herself as Kesoy Era Immaculada Concepcion. This means, I am the Immaculate Conception to the surprise of the priest, the parish priest, and the bishop of the diocese. And so they asked Bernadette to explain. Bernadette being a sickly child of poor parents and educated could only pray the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, and some parts of a devotional prayers, was asked to explain what the Immaculate Conception was all about, and she passed the test. She was able to explain it. And how did Bernadette describe this beautiful lady? She said that it was a pretty young girl with a rosary over her arm, wearing white robe with a blue chasse or girdle, wearing also a white veil, and a yellow rose on each of her foot. And so eventually, on 1862, the church approved the authenticity of this apparition. Soon after, Lourdes has become a place of pilgrimages and healing and renewed faith for the whole church. And the church recognized, in fact, 60 miraculous cures and counting. You know, it been, you've been to that place, formerly they would put there all the crutches, all the uh, wheelchairs as a testament of the people who had been cured who visited that place. Truly, this is a continuation of Jesus' healing ministry through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, personally, I've been privileged to lead a pilgrimage and to visit the Our Lady in Lourdes, France, four times. 2009, 2010, and then 2017, and just last year, 2018 on the occasion of the 160th anniversary of the apparition. And if I am given still the privilege, I would not reject any invitation to be able to lead another pilgrimage. I will never grow tired of going there because of such a celestial and out-of-this-world experience. Come to think of it, kapag ikay nagpunta doon, napakaganda. Noong hindi lang yung ambience, hindi lamang yung mga bulubundukin, hindi lamang yung panahon, dahil kami ay nagpupunta doon by October of September, that's autumn, so malamig. Kundi yung all the symbolisms would really point to this great experience of encounter, a place of encounter with the Lord through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The water that comes from the spring, na mismo, ang naghukay ay walang iba kundi si St. Bernadette. Pinagtatawanan pa siya ayon doon sa istorya dahil kumain siya ng damo doon sa lugar na iyon. At wala naman, napakalayo naman doon sa batis pa paano magkano ng tubig. And soon, until now, you can see it there. If you pass through the lower part or under the grotto itself, that water still alive and providing us the healing water for everyone, for every pilgrimage that you can drink on from any faucet. Kaya kapag nagpupunta kami doon, hindi ako umiinom ng tubig galing doon sa hotel. Bitbit ko yun yung aking, uh, aking uh, container. Kahit maliligo, ay daladala ko yun. Yun ang aking iniinom. 
yung tubig na nanggagaling mismo doon sa spring. Nariyan din yung Round the Crack Confession kung saan you can go to confession from in various languages dahil marami mga volunteer na mga pari para pakinggan ang iyong confession. And for me, the most humbling experience was the holy bath. Ano yung holy bath? Ikaw ay papasok doon sa isang kwarto kung saan you will be stripped naked, literally. And you will be led into that particular sort of a, a, a bath. Ilulublub ka doon matapos yung ikaw ay magdarasal ayon doon sa sarili mong uh, lingwahe. And it was the most humbling because you are literally bare and naked. But if you, you truly want healing, then you have to submerge yourself into that spring, that healing water provided to us by the Blessed Virgin Mary. Notwithstanding also the solemn procession that happens every night while singing Ave Maria, while praying the rosary together in various languages, and seeing also various sick persons being help and assisted by volunteer nurses all over the world. Indeed, the greatest miracle if ever you come to visit that place in Lourdes is hidden. There were many who visited Lourdes who eventually returned home, totally renewed with faith and the readiness to face the world because they come out refreshed. Unfortunately, the sad ending to this particular apparition and story was that Saint Bernadette, who eventually became a nun, was in fact could not be healed no less by that water that comes from the spring of Lord. Kaya nga tinanong at sinabi ni Mama Mary, you are going to suffer. That even if others are healed by this water, it cannot apply to you. To Saint Bernadette. And so Saint Bernadette took this as an heroic act to be able to serve the Lord through her suffering, through her pain. And at the age of 35, she died, she succumbed to TB and bone cancer. It could have been a very painful experience for her, but she has truly served the Lord through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary in order to make this great place of encounter and pilgrimage to all the world, to be able to continue Jesus' healing ministry through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. At ito po ang ating pagnilay-nilay tungkol sa kapistahan ng Our Lady of Lourdes, kasabay ng ating pagdiriwang ng World Day of the Sick. Allow me to bless you. Loving Father, through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Our Lady of Lourdes. May you keep them always in mind, body, and spirit and protect them from all harm. Touch their aching bodies, heal their broken bones and many parts of their bodies so that they may live their lives always pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. So, samahan po ninyo kaming muli sa susunod nating pagnilay-nilay Dito sa inyong gabay sa pagsamba at buhay, ako po si Father Chris Robert Silian mula sa Society of St. Paul, doing all for the gospel. Pagpalain tayo.